Hello again, happy Friday Eve. Another day in this map still looks the same. A lot of purple across West Texas. The wet, the eastern two thirds of our viewing area teetering along that triple digit line are already in the triple digits. Comanche, I really hate it for you guys. 109 right now. I really hope everybody's inside sitting under some air. Here in San Angelo, not that much better at 100 degrees or even in Abilene. Roby at 103 degrees. And as you move a little further west, more of those places sticking to the upper 90s but needless to say it is still very hot out even as we continue throughout this work week tonight is going to be similar to the past couple of nights this week mostly clear skies with lows dipping into the 70s more of the lower to mid 70s in the concho valley more of the mid to upper 70s up in the big country san angelo looking to get down to 75 degrees abilene looking to get down to 78 degrees sonora and el dorado could get down to 73 and ozona and big lake even cooler getting down to 72 degrees. The next couple days are still going to be hot. In fact, we do have a heat advisor going to effect at 1 o'clock lasting through 9 p.m. tomorrow for pretty much most of West Texas. So you want to make sure you're practicing your heat safety. If you do have to go outdoors, make sure you're wearing lots of sunscreen, drinking plenty of water. But if you don't have to be outside, it's best to stay indoors, especially between the hours of 1 to 9 p.m. Stay inside under the air conditioner and just enjoy being cool but we do have some rain on the way thankfully associated with this cold front that'll come through on sunday and behind that front we can see some rain chances extending throughout the first half of our work week here's a look at that setup saturday things are still on the clear side but you see that front making its way through the texas panhandle we're going to start to approach the big country by sunday morning sunday throughout the day overnight into monday we're going to see that front push south we'll start to see the first round of rain as early as sunday Sunday night and again extending throughout the better half of our work week but we're going to shift gears now over to the tropics I haven't really talked about the tropics in a while because there hasn't been much to talk about but now we have another disturbance or another area of interest just off the eastern co the western coast of Africa forgive me that has about a 20 percent chance of tropical development over the next five days it has such a low chance of development because it's moving through some waters that aren't as warm as we'd like them to be and it's moving through an area of high shear. We love shear for thunderstorms and severe weather, but not so much for hurricanes. So we're gonna be continuing to keep an eye on that to see if that develops into anything over the next week or so. But bringing it back here to San Angelo, about two more days of triple digit temperatures before we're slowly on the decline. Rain chances extending through the first half of next week before we're slowly on, back on an incline. Thankfully, temperatures aren't looking to get back into the triple digits behind that um, incline in temperatures. Same story in Abilene, but by this time next week, they could be very slightly getting close to that triple digit line, still staying under 100 degrees. Fingers crossed we will continue to stay under 100 degrees. Back to you, Esmeralda.